Welcome to Inside Out Boards with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you, thank you for subscribing. Thank you. Alright, I just wanted to go over the uh, primer system. I repaired this primer. It had a little crack in it. I just JB welded it, let it sit overnight, and then I hooked it back up. And I wanted you to be able to see how it goes. So, that's how we're going to start this video. We're going to look at this primer system. That primer system. And uh, so, let's get at it. You are looking at the bug infested 30 horse. I've got it all back together now. It pays like I race them on my horse. And I can now get it out of here. I'm going to get it out of here and I got a customer's engine that I'm going to bring in here. Because he wants it Wednesday. And it's Monday. And he says it don't pay. What kind of motor? What is it? What is it? I'll let you see. I'll be back. Okay. You can see where it goes in. and sprays down into the intake there. The hose comes. There's your T. And it comes down to the smaller nipple here. I've got it JB welded there. All right, then this part goes down around under the carb and to the bottom of the power head there. This hose hooks to the bowl, the one closest to the block hooks to the, the bowl. That's where it siphons the gas. Then there's a check valve in there. Then a Another check valve, this is just like a uh, foot valve so it don't backflow. And then there's a little check valve here so when you pump, it sprays it around and into the intake. So that's the setup. And I've got a diagram I'm going to show you. There it is. Okay. There's the primer. There's the small hose. It comes up, tees, and it goes to the bottom of the power head and then up behind the carb and sprays it into the power head. There's the power head. There's the carb. The big hose, it comes from the bigger nipple, which is toward the power head, and straight to the bowl. So it sucks gas through the check valve, up through here, sprays it into there, any leftover can drain down into here. That's the setup. That you're after. So there's all the parts. You can pause it, freeze it, do what you gotta do. But that's how it goes.
as you can see, I haven't got to the old Evan Rue 25. The old seized up Evan Rue that gave up the go. It gave up the go. How you doing? How you doing, Mr. Goat? You're just looking for a handout, ain't you? Can I pet you? Are you gonna bite me? Oh, you guys are... You guys are cool. You come in all different kinds of shades, don't you? Huh? Look at this. This guy says, I want the petting. Look at that. Need some mutton, some strutting mutton. Yeah. Okay. Bet my hand's gonna be all stinky. You gonna kiss my camera? And the reason why I have not got to the Evan Rood and parted it out yet is because hunters. The elk, the goat, the bear, whatever else they hunt around here, they showed up in mass groves because the opening of most of the seasons, bear, elk, that kind of thing, happened this week. Um, actually, I, yeah, this, this Sunday, this past Sunday. So, I got... Busy, 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 busy. With the Honda, wasn't nothing wrong with it. P tube was plugged up. He'll be coming to get that. But uh, my rack, which was basically it had holes all in it, I was down to probably no more than five outboards or so. But now look. I got a Mariner right there, 15. I got a Johnson over there, 15. Uh, I don't know what else I took in, but the rack is full. You don't see too many plums on that tree over there, do you? I've been eating. You don't see a lot up there. There's, there's a, a handful left. But I've been partaking. I've been dining, as we say. The Mercury jet motor, um, it's here. You may remember this motor. Um, I have a video of me. Somebody laid it down the wrong way and it filled the uh, cylinders and everything full of oil and hydrolocked it. And I drained it, cleaned it, got it going, and uh, and then I had a video of me delivering it to the float plane, float plane harbor so that the pilot could deliver it to the remote hunting camp. Well, that's, if you see right there, it says no oil. So this fella, he's a, I don't know if he's a guide, I think he is. He's a guide or what they call an outfitter or something. Um, but he, he's from the mainland, so he shipped this back here. And uh, he's going to be here in a couple of days to get this one. All I'm going to do to it is put oil in it and uh, start it, make sure it runs okay, pees good, all that. And then uh, he'll be here to pick it up. And I get paid to go pick him up um, at the seaplane place or the freight place this one came in on a pallet at a freight company and uh, so all I will do is fill it full of oil because it's a four stroke 
That's the four stroke it. So it's a uh, an injected motor. No carburetors. It's got EFI on it. So good looking jet. Good looking old jet. So that's all I'm gonna do to that one is put oil in it. I've been in there before because I, that's my writing one and two. Um, don't know what I wrote that for. <laughs> uh, it'll come to me. I could give you one. They're good. Yummy. Yummy. Okay, we gotta get some oil in this thing. Here I got less than a quart left in this one. But let's get some in there. Put you in the earl. This it's been out in my conic so it's kind of thick and cold. I'm using 10W40 and uh, get him in there. I'll put what's in this jug in there, which is a little less than a quart. And I'll check it and keep checking it. Nothing showing yet. So, let's get some up. And I'll show you in a minute, I've got a uh, bucket under the foot, under the jet foot on this motor, so that it's, everything's level, or as level as I can get it. Yeah, if you look, I've got a bucket up under the jet foot there, and it's on my stand, and that's I've got it pretty level.
heavy. Take the other no oil sticker off. I can get it. leave this guy sit right here tonight. There. Ain't gonna be in nobody's way. another one. Let me go out and get the part I need. I'll be right back. Okay, the product I have here is Sea Dog. It's a man overboard MOB switch. And uh, the owner wanted one put on this little Suzuki here. Um, I discussed it with him and I told him it'd be tight getting it on the front of that thing. And but I told him I could get it right in here, so right there. 
and then it would come out to their wrist or whatever and I think I can get it right in there this is one of these graduated bits so if I had it right there I think that would be good right there Looks like it. A little bit more. Not much. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Perfect. Now let me make sure I can get it in there. Got all that fuel pump sticking out there. I think I can. Be. And then you got a plastic nut and whatnot goes on there. Where's that at? There it is. So now I gotta build me some wire clips. I'm gonna head and put the Suzuki in the tank. Test out our man overboard so it chokes on. So we can get the Suzuki out of the tank, I think, is what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll make a phone call first. It's name, Dad, Tomb. I spend so much time believing all the lies to keep the dream alive. I spend so much time believing all the lies to keep the dream alive. Name, dead tune.
that's going to be a wrap. That's one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass.